Joseph Wood is a prisoner in Arizona. He was convicted of a double homicide in 1991, and he was sentenced to death. So last night was his execution, and it was an unmitigated disaster. It was like a scene in a horror movie. According to Reuters, after the injection, quote, he gasped and struggled to breathe for about an hour and 40 minutes. An Arizona Republic journalist who witnessed the event said he counted Wood gasping for air about 660 times. The execution was so thoroughly botched that during the time when he was gasping for air, defense attorneys filed an emergency court petition seeking to cut short the procedure and try to resuscitate their client. How unbelievable is that? They said the reason they did it is because it was so apparent that he was being subjected to unconstitutional, cruel, and unusual punishment. You know, that thing in the fucking Eighth Amendment? It, it, this is just a, a story that it honestly makes you embarrassed to be American today. It really does. It certainly had that effect on me. Saddam Hussein had a more humane, smooth execution than this guy did. But what happened with that whole situation about uh, trying to uh, get an emergency... Uh, petition to cut it short and resuscitate. Quote, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy denied the appeal. <laughs> why? Because if you already fuck up, then why not fuck up even more and double down and triple down on your barbarism? I wonder if uh, Anthony Kennedy would have said that if it was a, a, a friend of his or a family member of his or, uh, I don't know, any situation that can somehow touch him more. No, in that case, he probably would have been like, Stop it immediately! What are you, you're torturing? You're torturing? But since it's just some schmuck, uh, fuck it. No, go ahead. Follow through with it. Wood was pronounced dead at 3.49 p.m. local time, one hour and 57 minutes after the execution had officially begun. The thing should have taken minutes tops. Two minutes tops. No time at all. An hour and 57 minutes of torture. So this is the third terribly botched execution within the past year or so. And if, if you think it's already as bad as it could possibly be, it gets worse. How did the government in Arizona respond? Quote, State Corrections Director Charles Ryan disputed suggestions that Wood had suffered saying in a statement that once sedated five minutes into the procedure, the inmate, quote, did not grimace or make any further movement. Wait, 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 pause, pause. You do realize that everybody else that witnessed it says the exact opposite. That you're the only son of a bitch who's pretending and making excuses and acting like nothing wrong happened here. It gets better. Quote, Ryan characterized Wood's breathing as snoring. Snoring. Yeah, he was, he was just taking a nap. That's what happened. It's not like we just I injected deadly chemicals into his body and fucked up and he was being tortured and breathing heavily in a labored fashion. No, no, he was snoring. It's basically like he fell asleep on the couch eating Cheetos watching Monday Night Football. What's the problem? Everybody get off our backs here. The execution team uh, also assured the government and, quote, unequivocally, they said, unequivocally, the inmate was comatose and never in pain or distress. Covering your ass much, guys? Can you be more ridiculous? Now, uh, the final comment I want to share here <laughs> before we all start breaking things. Loathsome Arizona Governor Jan Brewer had the nerve to say Wood had, quote, died in a lawful manner. What law are you talking about? What law are you talking about? Saudi Arabian law? Iranian law? Somalian law? Botswana law? 
medieval law, he died in a lawful manner. I didn't know it was totally lawful to torture somebody for over an hour and 40 minutes when the execution is supposed to be one, two, three, no pain. Today, I'm embarrassed to be an American. Today, every uh, rational human being in the United States of America who is an American should be embarrassed to be an American. Let me ask you a question. How does the rest of the civilized world look at us? When we live in a country where we have 32,000 gun deaths on average every single year. 32,000! People were talking about how, oh my god, Iraq has gotten so much more dangerous since we left, it's a war zone over there. You know how many people died over there? A little over 10,000. 32,000 in the U.S., right? That's how, gun violence all day long, right? Endless mass shootings, endless suicides, I mean, you name it, just crazy, crazy, crazy. So we have that going on, and we also have, it's now a regular thing to botch executions. So not only do we still have the death penalty, which we are one of the few... Uh, remaining modern countries that does it, we also do it and torture people while we're doing it. Yay, America! Yay! We're so fucking great at everything. Yeah, man. We're, we're really, we're adults here. We're really reasonable, let me tell you. How does the rest of the world look at us? They go, ooh, yeah. They're like that, you know, awkward stepchild or something. The weird middle child that doesn't get along with the rest of the family. They're like the mo mo part of the modern world that they're not really all that modern. Between the gun violence in their own borders and the botched executions and the 900 military bases and invading countries that didn't attack them. What the fuck is up with them, man? And I don't blame them. I don't blame the rest of the world. I, I, I don't blame them. So what actually went wrong from a technical perspective in uh, the execution? Well, they used a sedative painkiller mix of midozolam and hydromorphone. This was used only once before in the U.S. And that execution was also botched. So what did these geniuses do? They go, oh, that's cool. Yeah, no problem here. Just up the dosage. That's it. Oh, the last execution with f fucking Clorox and battery acid was botched? Just up the dosage. That's fine. No big deal. This is, we're dealing with untested shit here. See, what happened is the European company that made the uh, chemical mix that is, that usually put people to death, right? They stopped making it because they said, what are we doing? <laughs> it's, the year's not like 12, 13 anymore. We're supposed to be civilized. We're not Neanderthals or barbarians. Okay, let's, let's stop. Let's stop here. Stop. Okay, we're not going to make this anymore. So what happened? The fucking idiot red states in the years. Oh, man, that's outrageous. Anyway, how can we kill somebody? Let's get, uh, let's get, uh, let's think here. P they were, there were debates. Ah, bring back the gas chamber. Ah, I don't know. Uh, uh, can we do beheadings? Uh, uh, and people bring back the electric chair. Just uh, silly, silly conversations that belonged in the 1800s people in the red states were having. So they came up with just new chemical mixtures, just slapping shit together. I don't know, try this. Three botched executions within the past year or so. Look, man, from a philosophical and theoretical pers perspective, I'm in favor of the death penalty. I think it makes sense that there are people who are so criminal, and they're such threats to society, and they're so bad to their core, right? that they deserve death. Whether we're talking about, you know, we've done stories of a guy who could only reach orgasm and arousal when he's stabbing little girls. Another story of a guy who would kill children, eat their intestines, and flush their, their skin down the toilet. There are uh, unimaginable evils in this world and some really bad people. So, from a theoretical perspective, I'm all for the death penalty. The problem is that when we apply it in real life, no matter how many uh, layers of oversight we put, we get it wrong 4% of the time. There's a recent study that said that. So if you're in favor of the death penalty, what you're saying is, I'm in favor of murder if it happens 4% of the time. That's fine. I can live with that. So you're in favor of killing uh, innocent people sometimes. That makes you a fuckhead. That makes you an immoral asshole. Okay? That makes you unethical. That makes you barbaric. Pretty simply, right? But then when you add this on top of it, that we have this Eighth Amendment protection from cruel and unusual punishment, and we're doing quite clearly cruel and unusual punishment, and then when we call people out on it and call Arizona out and all the states that fucked up, Oklahoma, the rest of them, what do they say? <laughs> Whatever, we don't care, uh, we're assholes. You think it's time to maybe get rid of the death penalty and join the rest of the civilized world? I think so.